Hi guys. Uh, today in this video, I will I will show you how to create uh, rec dot name uh, rec underscore name. Sorry. Um, it why we use it actually. I just let me just show you the front end. Uh, okay. Uh, in this practice, in this video, I'm using Odoo fifteen, and uh, for IDE, I'm using Visual Studio Code. So this is my custom module name uh, name is customers detail if i just go there so these are the records there this is the tree view and form view in my previous video um, i have shown you how to add many to one fields and tree how to add preview and um, form views you can just look at my previous videos so if you if i just open a record here you can see here my record had a it's not it's just coming it's just giving me model name first dot class dot name which is my model name and this three uh, this is the id it's just giving me the id here it's not actually giving me any proper name uh, which we definitely want so how we can overcome this issue how we can um, solve this problem so there are two ways first of all in every mo model always it's recommended that we should create a field with name so we just create a field with technical name is name we just create a character field and we give this field string as name okay after creating this field let me just add this field in my xml file and add it in the form view so this is the form view let me just add this field here and its name technical name is name perfect uh, that's it let me just upgrade the module because we have made some changes in our XML file, so that's why we have to upgrade our module. First, we restarted our IDE Visual Studio, and then we are going to upgrade our module. Once it's been upgraded, we can go in our custom module, which is customer details, and you look at that. So if you see, before it was giving us the mod model name and then the ID, but now, if I just look at my records, it's saying false because the field name is empty. That is false. So what we do, we just, we can create a new field or we can just edit this uh, existing record. And what we do, we just give any name here. We say that um, Ali um, James or anything, save. So if you see now, in this customer uh, record header, we can see Ali James. So because we have given value in our field, which is name. So this is absolute one kind of solution, how we can overcome with this issue. And the second second solution to this problem is rec underscore name. So how we can do that, um, if we go in, a, in our Python file, so if you see already, we have created this name so what we do just leave this field there and we can just create rec underscore name so we say rec underscore name equal to, and we can give any field name whatever we want um, to be header of our uh, record so what we say we say email give email uh, to a rec underscore name so this is this is how we can create rec underscore name uh, please remember uh, what will happen Odoo will first look for name and if uh, if there is no rec underscore name that will be replaced with name the header will be uh, replaced with the name but if we will create rec underscore name and give any field there, then it will replace name with the
the field which we will give in our rec underscore name. So let's restart. Restart Odoo and we go in our front end. No need to upgrade because we have not made any changes in our XML file. So we can just refresh it. We can go in our tree view. Okay. Okay. If you look at that, there is no name here in this field, but automatically it has been replaced with an email. Let's let's give some name. Let me just give some value to the name. So what will happen? In this case, when I will save this, it will not um, there will not be any kind of difference. Uh, it should remain the same. See? So even I have given value in in my name field, but still it has not been replaced with name because I have created already rec underscore name. So let's let's see in this field because in this this is a perfect example uh, of another case. So in this case there is a value in all uh, already in name field which is Ali James and still we see the uh, it's it's false there so because there is no value in the rec underscore name so what we do we just give any Ali James at gmail.com once I will save this it will be replaced with that email so this is how um, we can solve this issue um, so if you have not created record underscore name still that will be fine the name field will work but um, if we want to give a uh, different fields and we want to add or concatenate different field values um, in our record header then we have to give rec underscore name i hope you will like this video if you will like it please subscribe it and share it with your friends thank you so much